Welcome to the Augmentative Communication Consultation Service Aided Language Stimulation E-Module. The goal of this e-learning module is to explain aided language stimulation, what it is, and why it is used. This e-module will provide strategies for using aided language stimulation. You will learn where to start and how to move forward. Having a communication device doesn't make you an effective communicator any more than having a piano makes you a musician. To be an effective communicator, a child needs to learn the language. To do this, the child must be taught how to use his or her language system. Children learn to speak by listening to the people around them speak. They need models to help them learn and to improve their speaking and understanding skills. Aided language stimulation is an approach of teaching someone how to use an augmentative communication system by modeling how to use it. The goal is to create an environment in which the AAC user can learn from others how to use their communication system. Partners use the child's tool while talking to the child in order to create teaching opportunities. Children learn how to use speech to communicate by watching and hearing others use speech. For example, they learn that the word apple refers to the red fruit by watching and hearing others call the same red fruit an apple. Children who use pictures to communicate need to learn the same thing. They cannot learn what picture refers to an apple just by watching and hearing others say apple. They need to watch and hear other people say apple while pointing to the appropriate picture. Aided language stimulation is the perfect way for children to learn to use their AAC systems. Aided language stimulation allows children to see their tools being used by people around them and it helps them to learn that their tools are an effective, acceptable way to communicate. It would be unfair and virtually impossible for anyone to learn a new language without being taught first. Therefore, it is unfair to expect children to automatically use their tool without others modeling and teaching it first. Aided language stimulation encourages communication partners to slow down, use shorter sentences or phrases, emphasize keywords and ideas, use comments rather than questions, and learn the vocabulary with the child. When introducing a communication tool to a child, it is important to remember that by 18 months, babies have heard 4,380 hours of spoken language, and we don't expect them to speak yet. Whereas if an AAC learner only sees symbols modeled for communication twice a week, for 20 to 30 minutes in therapy, for example, it will take 84 years for them to have the same exposure to aided language as an 18-month-old has to spoken language. Yet, we often expect the child to be able to use a communication tool right away. Aided language is a necessary teaching strategy, but we must remember that modeling is not quizzing with an AAC tool or device, saying, touch this one, or do this, using hand over hand. It is not restricted to communication boards only. It is not restricted to 100% nonverbal individuals. Aided language can be used with individuals with varying levels of verbal language. And modeling is not restricted to one communication partner. It should be used by all partners in all environments. Modeling is not testing. Communication partners should aim to demonstrate language rather than direct it. Children must be taught how to use their tool. All communication partners, for example, teachers, educational assistants, parents, siblings, child care providers, and community members, should model using the tool as much as possible. 
Aim to model vocabulary throughout the day as repetition helps learning. The child will begin as a passive participant while the communication partner points to the symbols on the tool as he or she speaks. Initially, it is expected that the communication tool will be used 90% of the time by the communication partner and 10% of the time by the child. When modeling, don't be restricted to the written labels on the display. You can use the same icon or symbol for related word meanings and grammatical endings. For example, the icon representing the word go can be used to express go, going, gone, went, will go, where the icon representing look can be used to express the word look, looking, looked, see, seeing, or saw. When modeling, use a variety of message types naturally. Use the communication tool to express comments, questions, greetings, commands, and requests. Talk about what the child is seeing, hearing, doing, and feeling. Model the same words in different contexts to help the child generalize those concepts across situations. For example, you might use the word go to express go to the park, go to bed, go to grandma's, go for a bike ride, go and get your shoes, or to say go away. We do not want to limit a person who uses AAC to expressing only their wants and needs, but to open up their ability to express all of their thoughts and ideas. Think of how often you express your wants and needs versus your ideas, opinions, comments, or random thoughts. Your interactions would be very unfulfilling if you were limited only to requesting. You cannot model a communication system if it's not out and available. Ensure that the AAC system is always accessible and within reach. That way, you can model and use it anytime, anywhere. If the child is using a high-tech AAC system, you may also want to print out hard copies of the main page, or have additional light tech or backup systems for activities and environments that are not suitable for electronics. Take time to explore the tool together. Talk about the words and where the vocabulary is found. Explore the way vocabulary is organized and how to navigate through the system. Locate vocabulary or messages you think you could model frequently. This way you can find vocabulary easily when you need it. The better the communication partners know the tool, the better they can be at teaching the tool to the child. Begin with one to two symbols at a time, modeling the keywords only. For example, while saying, I'm going to the park, you might just model the words go or I plus go plus park on the display. Use core content words or high frequency words to increase exposure through repetition. Core content words or high frequency words are vocabulary words that are used repeatedly across a variety of settings. Core content words includes words such as I, go, like, help, stop, eat, and want. For more information on core words, please refer to the ACCS Core Content and Fringe Vocabulary e-module. When the child indicates something non-verbally, the communication partner should respond and model the symbols to communicate the same intent. For example, when the child looks at the cookie jar, you could say cookie or want plus cookie on the child's communication system. Respond appropriately when the child is pointing to the icons. They are exploring, so provide them with the word as well as the context for that word. For example, if a child points to the eat icon, you might say you are hungry, you want to eat, while pointing to the eat icon on the display. If the child points to the play icon, you might respond by saying, you're right, your brother is playing a video game over there. When the child uses a communication system to express something using a single word, 
expand the message to a two-word combination. For example, if the child points to the eat icon, the partner might then respond by pointing to want plus eat or eat plus more. Continue to expand messages as your comfort level and the level of the child increases. The key thing to remember about getting started with AAC is to use visuals along with your speech. Aid language is the best way to start and to move forward. Thank you for watching the ACCS Aided Language Stimulation eModule. Please refer to the following resources for additional information and support.